Hi everyone and welcome to the Laser Channel where we learn, create, and share. My name is Greg and in today's video I have the Vision Laser Machine by WeCreate featuring the powerful 40 watt laser module. In this video I'm going to cover a quick unboxing montage followed by covering some of the key unique features that make this machine really stand out in today's competitive laser market, and then finally rounding everything up by running a couple sample projects so that we can see this machine in action. Thanks for joining me for another video on the Laser Channel. Let's get started with the unboxing montage. Unboxing the well-packaged machine was a lot of fun. Next, let's check out what I have on the table by doing a quick camera flyover. Two sample pieces of bass plywood, two test engraving cards that were made off of this actual machine, a user manual, two standoff trays for cutting out projects, a bag with a spare connector for the 40 watt laser module, a crumb tray to catch all the pieces that fall through the standoff tray when cutting out projects, USB cable with USB adapter, hose adapter that goes on the back of the machine, an included hose, this is about five feet long, one of the largest Wi-Fi antennas I've ever seen on a laser machine, an assembly screwdriver for installing the hose onto the hose adapter with the included clamp, power pack for powering up the entire machine, air assist pump with included hose. My machine also includes the rotary attachment with auxiliary wheel set and a variety of accessories to go with the rotary attachment. There's also silicone grease for any future maintenance needed on the machine. Saving the best for last is the Vision Laser Machine. This space gray color indicates this is the 40 watt version. The back of the machine is very clearly labeled and this matches up perfectly to the product setup inside the owner's manual. This area here is mounting for the hose adapter. Inside the laser machine are high precision metal rails throughout the entire machine to guide the laser module. Here's a close up of the laser module. This thing is absolutely huge. When I talk about features on this machine, there are a ton of features, but there's a handful of them that really stand out. Starting out with, this has to be one of the easiest machines to get set up and running. And this is due to the machine coming in, as we see, all pre-assembled. There's no framework to assemble. There's no belts to run or belts to tension. This is also going to be one of the easiest machines to use, despite all of the advanced features like the built-in camera vision system, the autofocus system. These are all pre-set up and pre-calibrated when I use the included free Make It software. When I talk about the camera vision system, there's only one button that I need to push to refresh or initially take that picture. And there's no extra cables that I need to run out to my computer to get that system to work. When I turn my attention to the autofocus feature on the machine, 
once again, within the software, there's only one button that I have to push and I've used the autofocus system on a previous vision machine and it is extremely repeatable and extremely accurate, giving me the perfect focus for every project. The ease of use continues with the pre-calibrated rotary attachment. And the attachment of this accessory to the machine is very quick and easy. There's only two screws attaching this to the machine. And to ensure that I have perfect, consistent placement of the attachment, there's two guide pins, making this a very simple and quick installation. In the Make It software, there's one button to click to activate this attachment. And all I need to do to start a project is tell the software the diameter of my work material and the machine and the software takes care of everything for me. Those of you with a keen eye already picked up when we reviewed all the parts included with the machine, there's no safety glasses and that's because none are needed. This is a fully enclosed machine with the top cover having this orange eye safety guard. This is essentially the safety glasses built into the machine. A couple of fun geeky specs on the machine is going to be the work area and this comes in at 400 by 270 millimeters. Converted over that's going to be 15.75 by 10.63 inches. If I have larger projects there is an automatic conveyor feeder available and this is going to increase the work area of the machine to a huge 358 by a whopping 3,000 millimeters. When I convert that over, that's going to be 14 inches by 118 inches. And lastly, this machine has a maximum speed of 600 millimeters per second. There's certainly plenty more accessories, specifications, and features on this machine. And if you'd like to check those out, I will have a link down in the video description for you. Before I jump into the free Make It software, there's a couple misconceptions that I want to address right away. And that primarily stems around the Make It software is best utilized when it has access to the internet. And this has led some people to believe that the Make It software is a cloud-based program, and it's absolutely not. I've created and ran projects with the Make It software disconnected from the internet, and I'm still able to send projects out to the machine, and I still have full functionality of the machine, like the camera vision system, the autofocus, the pre-calibrated rotary attachment. In fact, all of the attachments up to the machine still have full functionality, even if the software is not connected to the internet. The advantages of being connected to the internet and creating a free user account, I'll be able to activate the free premium software service. And there's two main things that that will grant me access to. Primarily, there's going to be hundreds of pre-made projects in the software that I can simply click on and then send it out to the machine and start creating. The other feature built into that premium service is going to be an AI graphics generator. All I need to do is think it and type it into the computer and that AI graphics generator will create the image that I'm trying to create. This allows me to simply send it out to the machine. So it's a really great way of the software connecting my creativity up to the Vision Laser machine. I have the latest version of the software loaded onto my computer. I'm connected to the internet and I have my free six months of premium software activated. And this is going to be the landing screen that I see. Across the top, we have the latest news from WeCreate. When I scroll down a little bit, we're going to see that these are the free built-in designs that I have access to for six months. And if I want to extend that six months out, I believe the last time I checked on the pricing, it's just under 10 US dollars per month. Or I can purchase any of the projects that I would like a la carte. Most of them just cost a dollar or two, which is still an exceptionally great deal. I would like to create my own project. At the top, I'll click new project. 
And the first thing that I'd like to do here is power on the machine and get the software connected up to the machine. And here it is, the Vision Laser Machine, the world's first auto lifting machine in action on the first power up. Upon powering up the machine, there's a couple really cool things that happen, but I think the best thing that happened is, because I had the software already open when I powered the machine on, the machine automatically already connected to the software. This is indicated by a green light next to the 40 watt blue laser, and it's telling me that it connected with the USB cable connected up to my computer. I'm ready to start my first project, the first thing I'm going to do is load in a sheet of the sample material that came with the machine. My first project is going to be a simple text engraving with line cutout. To get started, I'll click on the text tool and then anywhere within the work area. And I'll double click again so it's highlighted blue and I can delete out the default text and start typing in my own text. I can click off to the side and then click on it once again and move this anywhere that I'd like. I can also move up here to the top and change the size. I can also change the font as well. Here I'm using the fonts within We Create Software. And I think this one looks really neat. Next, I'm going to switch it from Line Engrave to Fill Engrave. That looks pretty cool. And I'm going to create an offset line around the text. This way I can cut that out. And that tool is going to be contours. When I'm using this tool, what I'd like to do is create this offset distance large enough so that in between the space of all the, the words here that they all connect. So I will just continue to increase that contour offset until those all connect a little bit more. And that looks good. With that contour selected, I'm gonna switch that over to cut. This all looks good. I'm going to click on the words once again and that preview. And I think I like to do something that is kind of a light color. And that is going to update my settings that reduce the power level and change the speed a little bit. Next thing I'll need to do is set the focus of the laser. For that, one button click on autofocus. to zoom back just a little bit and we're going to see that not only did the vision laser machine automatically focus down to the wood material that we just placed in it also automatically took a calibrated photo of that work material so now I have a good graphic representation of where my project is going to be on the work material it's just that easy I'm now ready to hit the start button and send my creative project out to the machine and let the machine do all the work from here. The first project is complete, and most of all, it was fun and easy. The first project was great, but I admit it's a little bit basic. For the second project, I'm going to try something a little bit different and use the AI graphics generator within the Make It software. Let's check that out. I'll click on the AI button on the left hand side of the screen. And this is going to open up a new window with a prompt on what I would like to see. Well, look at that. I have a happy raccoon sitting by a campfire in a woods, black and white, line drawing with uh, not too many shadows. I like the way that this looks and I'm going to import it to the canvas. 
I'd like to make some adjustments to this and maybe I'll do that through filters. I'll try a sketch. That lightened it up a little bit too much, but I think I can fix that with the grayscale. I'll move the bottom end and that should start to darken everything up. That looks good. If I want the brights brighter, I can make that adjustment too. I think I like the way that that looks. I'm actually gonna adjust the sharpness way up. I found when I start engraving uh, photos very similar to this, if I over sharpen it, the lasers tend to like that a lot more. This looks pretty good. And I also wanna cut this project out as well. So with the object selected, I'm going to hit uh, that button contours and let's do that two millimeter offset. That looks good. This all looks good. We're also going to see that the image algorithm or how the software sends the information out to the laser machine is set at Jarvis. This looks good and I can scroll back up to the top and autofocus the machine once again. That autofocus, it's just so convenient and easy. I hit one button and I know that the machine laser is perfectly focused to my work material. From here, once again, all I need to do is hit the start button, sit back and relax and wait for the machine to do all the work for me. The second project is all complete, a great combination of AI and my imagination. Creating the two projects for this video was very easy, it was very fast, and most of all, I had a lot of fun doing this. I found that the Make It software does a great job of taking some of the advanced features on the machine, like the camera system and the autofocus. It takes care of all the pre-calibration and setup in the software where I only ever have to hit one button to make those features work. It allows me to spend more creative time coming up with different designs and less time tending to the software and the machine setup. This allows me to create a lot more projects and allows me to get more creative with my projects as well. I had a great time creating this video for you today I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider giving it a like, subscribing to the channel, or ringing that notification bell. Not only is that a great way to help the Laser Channel grow, it's also an awesome way to connect video content like this with other great viewers just like you. Well, until we meet again in the next video, learn, create, and share.